Hi guys, today I'm going to bring you a recipe with thousands of years of history. It's called hardtack and it's true adventure food from the days of yore. Sailors were provided with this hard cracker as sustenance on long sea voyages. Hardtack is also known as ship's biscuit, sea biscuit, cabin bread, sea bread, pilot bread, or also as tooth dullers, dog biscuits and worm castles. The Egyptians had a version of it, the Romans had a version of it, and the kings of England had a version of it. So if you're going on a long voyage anytime soon, you might just want to crack the oven gloves out and make some hardtack. This is a really simple recipe containing only three ingredients and I'm choosing a Tudor version of it. First of all, you just need 500 grams of flour sieved into a bowl. You can actually make this with whole wheat flour. You can add some butter, some milk to give it kind of a more modern taste but that is not the traditional recipe. The key to this is to have zero moisture in the recipe. So if you add butter, if you add milk, it's not gonna keep for as long. To your sieve flour, you need to add about half a tablespoon of salt. Okay, once you have your salt in your bowl, it's time to add 250 milliliters of water. And then, Simply stir it together to create a nice dough. So I'm just gonna put down a length of baking parchment. Now it's time to just roll out the dough. As thick or as thin as you want, but I would go thin. It's meant to be a cracker and it's meant to be stored on top of each other for a long time. Okay, hopefully you're in a kitchen with some more space. I'm basically just gonna make this a bit smaller so it's gonna fit one on my baking tray and two on my chopping board. Once you've got it to the thickness you prefer, you need to cut it into crackers. So I've just cut myself four small rectangles and now you need a nail. Well, I mean, you don't really need a nail, you just need something pointy, but I'm using a nail. And with this, you're just gonna puncture the dough. This actually helps the moisture release whilst it's in the oven. Stick your crackers onto a baking tray. Hopefully at home, you've got a bigger baking tray and an oven preheated to about 170 degrees already. My oven's just down the road because I'm cooking outside here in Grasmere in the Lake District. So I'm gonna go and put these in the oven for about 40 minutes and I'm gonna leave them overnight and I'm gonna show you what they look like tomorrow. So this is my hardtack. It's been over 24 hours since I baked it off and I left it to rest. I threw a few more in the oven as well. This is how hard they are. It's not so bad. It will get harder over time. You've got to keep it in an airtight container. Otherwise, if they get moist, you could get an infestation of weevils or maggots. Even Christopher Columbus's son wrote on a voyage he went on with his father once that the sailors would wait until nighttime till it was dark before they ate their hardtack so they couldn't see the maggots that were infested inside. If you've got something you'd like to take with you on a long voyage, let me know in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Now, I love to take these out with me when I head into the mountains, and my friend Rick introduced me to the idea of making batches and freezing them so that you can take them when you need them. But I've hipstered this recipe up a little bit, and I've changed some of the